Draw the structural formula for at least one bromoalkene with the molecular formula C5H9Br that shows A, neither EZ isomerism nor chirality. In order for us to do this question, we first need to figure out um, how to show a molecule that exhibits no chirality and no EZ isomerism. As we can see, I wrote above that a molecule that will exhibit chirality must have at least one chiral carbon, and a chiral carbon is a carbon that has four different groups attached to it. Now, if a molecule exhibits no easy isomerism, that means that it has a double bond, but this double bond is connected to the same two groups on one of the ends. And the easiest way to draw a molecule with no easy isomerism is to just put the double bond simply at the very end, because that way it will be attached to two hydrogens, and we will not be able, it will not exhibit easy isomerism. So what we can do right now is we can try drawing A. Okay, we have five carbons. So let's say we have a five carbon chain, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to put our bromine. I will put it at this end. That way, this carbon is not a chiral carbon since it's attached to two hydrogens. And the rest of the carbons are not chiral either because they're attached to two or three hydrogens. And we will also put a double bond, and I'm going to go ahead and put this double bond at the end, which means that it will not exhibit easy isomerism because on this end, on the left end of the double bond, it is attached to two hydrogens. And if one end is attached to exactly the same two uh, atoms or, or uh, groups, then we cannot do easy on that molecule. So this double bond does not exhibit easy because we put it at the end, it's attached to two hydrogens. And this molecule also has no chiral carbons, so it is not chiral, it cannot exhibit chirality. So that's our A. Let's go ahead and do B. For B, it says that the molecule has to show easy isomerism but not chirality. So what we can do is we can draw our molecule again, one, two, three, four, five, and we will put Br at the end again so that there is no carbon attached to four different groups. But this time we are going to put double bond, for example, here. And by the way, there are many different possible answers for this kind of uh, problem because we could have put our double bond to the right as well. And so we can see that this molecule now does exhibit easy isomerism uh, because each end is connected to two different groups. On the left, this end is connected to a hydrogen and a methyl group. And here we are connected to a hydrogen and a methyl group as well. And since the group's on the opposite side, this is actually E. But we don't have to say which one it is. We just have to show the molecule that fits criteria for B. Let's go ahead and go to C. So for C, we're asked to draw the molecule that does have chirality, but it does not have easy isomerism. Well, we said the easiest way to get rid of easy isomerism is to put the double bond at the end. So it's attached to two hydrogens and it cannot do easy. But in order for us to exhibit chirality, we will have to put bromine instead of at the end we will go ahead and put it here. And so we can see that this carbon is a chiral carbon because it has a bromine, a hydrogen, and the left group and the right group are different because on the left we have a double bond and on the right we do not. Therefore, this molecule does not exhibit easy, but does exhibit chirality because it has a chiral center. And let's go to part D. Both chirality and EZ isomerism need to be exhibited. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw our five carbons and we can put our double bond here. Sorry, my double bond is a little crooked, but we know that this double bond will be able to exhibit EZ isomerism. And we will go ahead and put our bromine on this carbon and this carbon will be a chiral center because it's connected to bromine, hydrogen, methyl on one end, 
and a big group on the other end, so it is a chiral carbon. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in my other chemistry videos.